you go. <laughs> come on. Come on. There you go. Come on. That's a boy. Oh. There you go. Good job. <laughs> Something like fly spray. <laughs> yeah. You guys need some fly spray. Flies are, the stompy flies are everywhere. So, he's rolled. He did a good job rolling. Now that he was white. And then we washed him down. <laughs> now he's not white. And I'm sure he's not white either. But I'm not going to give them another bath. Because we're going to have a thunderstorm coming out pretty soon. So I don't know how much of a damper this is going to put on to uh, the fireworks display tonight. So uh, husband and I might stay home this evening and forego the fireworks tonight. But isn't that just so cool? We have the coolest view out here. I can't tell you how many times I take a picture of that tree. Like in the morning when I go to work. The tree is just so cool. We used to be able to ride in here, but this is... Um, the people who own this field are the same people that own the fields behind our house. So they won't let us go across it because there's a like a path on the other side of that tree that runs the length of my neighbor who owns that, that house right there. He's the one that owns the, our trailer. And um, so he can see his trailer from his house and all that. But that doesn't look very happy. So, I just wanted to make this quick little video, you guys, and say thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the wonderful comments. You guys have really touched my heart about Friday and our experience today at the, the parade this morning. Um, I, I mean, I do try my best and having you guys give me that little bit of extra way to go at a boy thing <laughs> is um it's just extremely extremely helpful and just lets me know that there are an awful lot of good people out there so i know some of you have asked it's snowy <laughs> she knows there's a thunderstorm coming she wants to go inside <laughs> so i know some of you have asked about how to make donations for him and whatever medical costs that come up. Um, he's starting to look even better, but he does eat a lot of food. Um, we're still paying on Mr. Darcy's med medical bills over at Davie County Large Animal Hospital. So if you want to donate there, you can um, call Davie County Large Animal Hospital and um, all the information for them is in the other videos, the follow-up video, the colic video. Um, we're almost, I don't want to say we're almost finished paying on it, but it'll get knocked out in a couple paychecks. So um, now for him, uh, he doesn't really need much of anything. He's still on, he's on Darcy's medication, so he's on Percent, um, which that I think is the biggest help for him because I think he has Cushing's that was gone, that went unchecked. And Davy County has a way to test to make sure that we're giving him the proper dose while he's on percent so we don't have to take him off it and have his body go way out of whack and then have to try to put it back on it again. So that's a cool thing. Um, he's doing very good with his feet training. Um, usually when I first got him, they did show that he picked up his feet, which is good and it's true. It does, but he doesn't hold them up <laughs> and we think it's because he's got ring bone in his front feet or he's got arthritis or something going on in his front feet. Um, so he doesn't hold them up for very long, but he's getting better. He held them up long enough for me to get that stone out of his foot. So we're on the right track there. It's just being persistent and patient with him. Um, he... He is an amazing boy. Um, he is very rusty with his groundwork. Uh, today when we were at the parade, we were coming back and there was this one horse from the 
bull riding stable that's around the corner from here. And he was ma making his horse be all fancy, you know, side passing and being all dancy and stuff like that. But I mean, it was way too hot to make a horse do that. But um, Friday didn't know what was going on and he got all worked up over it. He wasn't listening. He was trying to pull and the knot for his lead rope came undone. <laughs> And he was like, oh, I'm free. And he starts trotting away. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I'm like, Friday's, whoa. You know, figuring he would voice command, but no, that didn't work. And he was surpassing a car and he was heading towards a group of people. And um, thankfully, one of our neighbors, her name is Izzy. Uh, she was in the video. I, she was a little bit ahead of us and I yelled. I said, Izzy, cut him off. <laughs> And she she took her her wonderful little colt and cut him right off, and he just stood there. He was really good, and I knew he'd do that because he did that yesterday in the pasture, where he decided to run. So he's actually starting to feel good, and he decided to run away from me. <laughs> so I chased him, and just kind of like what happened today. So I was like, oh crap! I know he's just gonna just trot away, but he'll stop. So I really wasn't all that worried. I was more, I was a little concerned about the people freaking out more than him doing anything. But you know, you never, that's embarrassing. <laughs> yes, it is. It's very embarrassing. So Mr. Uh, Fatty here is still got to gain some weight. He's got to gain at least another hundred pounds. Um, I don't want to see this. <laughs> this is dirt, but his, uh, his spine is coming up his back is coming up. Not bad for a 22 year old. <laughs> but uh, he still needs to gain some weight. Probably, like I said, another 100 pounds. But I think most of it's going to have to be muscle. He just looks really bad right here. But he's not. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> so he's the. He stays cooler to the touch than some of the other horses that I've ever had. Um, so, like, his skin right now is like nice and cool where his is probably gonna be really hot. But you guys wanna see him. So he's really, really filled out. It's starting to fill out. He's filling out from the front back. <laughs> uh, I think he's a little wormy, so I'm gonna give him another case of warmers. Um, I talked to Kathy George, the animal communicator, um, not too long ago. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say he's a little wormy. Yeah, he's probably a little wormy. Um, and actually one of one of you guys, I don't know who it was, one of you guys, um, right after Mr. Darcy passed away, um, bought me a wonderful conversation with her. And she's a very reputable um, animal communicator. And um, it was actually quite interesting. She said that she talked to him and she liked him a lot. She thought he was a cool dude. What's the matter, guy? And uh, said that he couldn't pull anymore, which is why... You know, his feet hurt. So that's why they treated him the way that they treated him. But we're going to work on the worm. I have some warmer. I'll give it to him tomorrow morning. I'm not going to give it to him not tonight. But I'll give it to him tomorrow morning. But uh, he has gained 110 to 115 pounds, you guys. And this is what it looks like. His... Oh, I felt a drop. His hips are now starting to fill out. His little... His little bump <laughs> is now this is starting to fill out a little bit. His tail is starting to grow, believe it or not. That's him right here. Um, this is not nearly as sunken in as it was when we first got him here. I mean, this was just awful. What's the matter, bud? There. He's starting to get a bum. Let me see your tail. Let me see your tail. Starting to get a bum. <laughs> That's kind of nice. He didn't have one before. His, uh, well, don't. Don't fart on the people. They don't like that. That's starting to look a little better. His, uh, his skin condition is starting. His rain rot is starting to look good. Mm. Hey, really? Swat at you guys. His top line will be the last to come up. So this, this is going to be the last thing that's going to form on a horse. Because until they get more muscle here and into their legs and to be able to carry themselves here um they can't carry themselves here so what we do is we do these like little they like little kegel i know exercises where you you take their your their belly and you tickle it 
and what they do is well when he's not eating <laughs> they they arch their back a little bit and that helps build this top line so from like here if, except for him being ribby from like here forward <laughs> he looks kind of better and uh yeah we're gonna get a little wet that's okay um all the muscles in his neck are starting to disappear you used to be able to see every muscle group in his neck that's already gone i'm so happy with this this angle here on his shoulder is not quite as sharp you can see he's got bug bites um his legs are really starting to fill out his chest is starting to fill out again yes you are and he's starting to get a mane <laughs> a real mane this is so nice and his bangs well his forelock i call him bangs starting to fall over so that's nice. Um, he's standing pretty okay. One of the guys that we were riding with, he's a farrier. He's an okay farrier. He thought he might be having an abscess, which is true. It's getting very dark, you guys. Whew. But, um, yeah, so he's, he's looking better. He's looking 110% better. His coat is so much better. All You remember? He was all this. All this yuckiness when we first got him. All of this. It was everywhere. And now it's he's slicked out. And uh, he's looking better. You can see this muscle group is starting to form a little bit better. All the up and down in the hill, that really does a lot of good form. Uh, hill work is great for horses. Um, especially if you want to build some muscle here. Because, like I said, his butt still needs to be round like that. And it's still kind of flat. So, we're going to work on that. But this, I can tell you right now, is starting to develop. And I'm sure you guys can see. I am in the process of making a 30-day transformation video. That shows the day that I got him. Plus all the little videos and the, the pictures that I've taken in between. That show his body condition. And so forth as he has progressed. So, not too much. He's, he's not so sunken in anymore here. You guys, he's a little bit out, which is nice. There's, there's that developed muscle there. He's looking good. His tail's starting to grow nice. Starting to get a butt. And it's starting to get windy. <laughs> Ooh, it's going to be windy. It's gonna be, we're going to get wet. That's right. I'll stay out here as long as I can. But, uh. Yeah, you guys, I, I was a little concerned about him. There's a couple of you that said that you weren't really sure about how he was going to do. And uh, I'm right there with you. <laughs> that diarrhea really had me a, a scared up a little bit. Um, I was a little worried about him. I didn't think he was going to get over it. But he did. And now he's got a huge appetite for um, some hay. <laughs> oh, boy. It's gonna be windy. This is gonna be a little cell that's gonna come in real quick. It's right over our head. You're almost done with your food. That's good. You get blood on you. 
Let's erase it. There. <laughs> and you sort of did amazing today. I am so proud of you. Everybody's proud of you. You got a great appetite too. <laughs> so, he's doing great. You guys, thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna check to see if they have hay. Woo, look at that one. Uh, no, well, they have a little bit. Oh, there's poop here. I'll have to clean that out. They get a little bit of hay. I'll have to put some more out over there. They're almost, they're out. Oh, what the heck? Somebody was in here and they bought the... All right, hold on. Well, <laughs> I was hope. Oh, there's a lot more poops in here than I thought. Chickens must have been in here. This you cannot leave. And this is why you should always check your run-ins. It was up here. It was a shelf we had made. Well, I'll have to... Uh, Pick this up, put some more hay in here, you guys. I'm gonna let them eat in the rain. Although I think they're all done. Don't pee in your bucket. Oh, don't pee in your bucket. Please don't pee in your bucket. Okay, good. Whew. <laughs> well, his pee looks better. <laughs> At least he didn't pee in his bucket. Oh, see, look, now it's okay. I'll take care of that tomorrow. Not so pretty. Good job about not peeing in your bucket. <laughs> That's pretty much uh I would have been talent if he peed in his bucket. But he finished all his food. Good job, buddy. Good job. Look at that. It's all yeah, you missed just a couple pieces. Yeah, it's right there on the bottom. <laughs> Such a good boy. His groundwork needs a little refresher. But uh, overall, I am thoroughly happy with just with this gentleman. Thoroughly happy. <laughs> Alright guys. Well, thank you again so much. So much for the wonderful comments that you guys made it really makes my day <laughs> have a happy fourth of july you guys